and here we are continue load where were we here oh god yeah this part oh boy anatomical model go <laughs> why would you wear that anatomical model Better be careful, I won't be as kind now as I was before. You weren't kind before though, and how is it a transformation? If you're just wearing a creepy bodysuit, you're supposed to be some kind of lab specimen? Yamamoto, it seems you wish to be the first to die. I don't want to die at all. Yet, I will kill. Limit break, what? Model kick? What? What does that mean? Okay. Whiskey. Eek. The anatomical model slammed into Fukurai with all its weight, pushing him over quite handily. Is he dead? If I don't make it, please, you need to survive. No, Fukurai. Whiskey, I. It seems as though Fukurai was falling forever, but eventually, the last trace of his. Flailing form was swallowed by the darkness. The darkness is killing me. Fukuroi served only as a trivial nuisance, therefore it seems only fitting he be discarded with equal triviality. Hizumi, what the hell are you? For you to so casually murder a companion you've spent such considerable time with up until now. Do you even understand the weight of human life, or do you not just actually understand anything at all? You, you're speaking nonsense as well. I'll answer you though, nonetheless. And my answer is, yeah, yeah, to your second question, that is, I don't understand anything at all. Are you even still human then? Am I? At the very least, I could tell you, I have no interest in your pathetic interpersonal relationships. So is that why we deserve to be killed then? All I did was make his life shine to ensure it was equal with all things. What in the fuck? What do you say, Yamamoto? Won't you show me yours as well? Your light that shines so bright it nearly blinds me. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. How about you give me a warm embrace? I'm rather warm myself, after all. What the? What the fuck? He actually burned himself alive? Okay, that's weird. As if I you, the anatomical model lit up like a match had become instantaneously engulfed in flames. Say hello to my little fire states. Uh, okay, you're gonna die, you know. Heat, heat, feel the heat till you die. Ah, so hot, so very hot, and Yamamoto, soon you will too will be able to share in this eternal heat. Yeah. <laughs> like hell, I will just go off somewhere and burn to death for all I care. Why didn't he embrace uh, Mitsuki first and then burn himself alive? Mitsuki attempted to kick the anatomical model, but he completely blocked the impact with his arm. That's a nasty yeah, but you got Yamamoto, and for you to attempt to kick me under these circumstances. Yet I must at least give you credit for good sense attempting a sudden middle kick. But you just didn't put your back into it. Now, now, you must get violent simply because you're scared. If you do, I may fall in myself. That's the idea. Sounds like a great idea. Uh, yeah, I just said it. What? Does you know going to be walking away from this, so I might as well be your guide. Oh, badass. Imbecile. This is far too manly a move for you. Well, sorry for being a little mannish. What's the problem? Uh, being a tomboy is like a rare specimen in the world. They're like the best people around. Fall with me. Wow. Two of them both lost their footing in the struggle and fell into the darkness below. Man, she's such a badass. I've always despised you, always hated the explosive power you bore. Hated that there existed a girl in this world so firmly committed in their decisions. That makes them awesome though. Flattery will get you nowhere. I just wanted to ensure that when I died, I could avenge the deaths of Kurosaki and Fukuroi. So your feelings for your companions bring out over even your own life? I'll never understand what it means to be human. Uh, you, should, you really should 
check yourself for a f uh, professional. Really, I don't get it either. But when you don't understand something, doesn't that just make you want to understand it? It just may, but you're dead though. Wait, so, uh, huh. Okay. You may now open the door. So, the people are like, huh, that happened. No reaction from the other people as well? No crowd? Okay. According to my dear wife, I was out cold for quite some time. During that entire time, I was apparently resting with my head in her lap. Though, sadly, I didn't remember any of it. Not that I couldn't get the kind of service from her any time I wanted anyway. But when I woke up, she was in a real hurry to keep moving. Right into that room with a great evil. Right. But what awaited us inside was nothing like I had imagined. It was an auditorium with a television. That was it. There were countless others in there around the same age as us, but absolutely nothing about it felt particularly scary at all. What's going on, dear wife? I'm not entirely certain myself. It's not as if the room were devoid of tension, but neither was the atmosphere all that tense. The word anticlimactic seemed a proper fit. About time you two showed up, St. Cruz Girls Academy Class 2-3 student Azusa Takai and Class 2-1 student Ran Kobayashi. But clearly, we couldn't let our guards down just yet. For some reason, that voice sent shivers down my spine, and when I saw to whom it belonged, the reason became clear. Dear wife, that girl, that dress. Yeah, she is dangerous. Please back away from her, Ran. What, you plan to defy me? Red dress, are you the girl from the occult report that's found its way into all the schools? I hate you. You've taken countless souls who've committed no sins and trapped them here. Oh, not today she hasn't. Huh? A very matter-of-fact statement drifted to my ears and caught me by surprise. Today's a culture festival day right now. For various reasons, there's something like an athletic meet underway. Looking up at the television, it certainly did seem that this was the case. I think I remember seeing the boy crossing the wooden plank before. Oh my, it's Sir Knight. He seems well. Who's Sir Knight? Yeah, him. His name is Kishinuma, and Kishi means knight in Japanese. Kishinuma? Is, he, is Kishinuma Yoshiki again? Ah, it's so confusing. In Japanese, so bam, brave Sir Knight. Good to see him still in one piece. Wait, since when did Ran and... Uh, who... And dear wife... Interacted? Did I miss something? Your brave sir knight and the others are engaged in a race to get out of here. Whosoever reaches the goal can escape and bring one other person with them. So what do you say? Will either of you participate as well? You're saying two people can get out of here? I immediately formulated a plan to leave with my dear wife. We'll pass, thanks. But she shot down the offer before I had a chance to say a single word. We can't just pretend we never saw her, this Sachiko. Dear wife, you are ever mindful. What does Ran look like? The thought of escaping with me never even crossed her mind, it seems. But comparison, her firm commitment made me feel a bit embarrassed. I could never hope to match that willpower. Then you two should stay where you are and behave yourselves. You wouldn't want to render the struggles of your knight and his friends in vain now. Oh, certainly not. It was my intention from the start to simply observe. Okay, if that's what my dear wife wishes, then I too shall follow suit. Thank you, Ran. What does Ran look like? Think nothing of it. What does she look like? Is that Ran? Hey, Machida, don't those two seem a little familiar to you? How so? Do they? They seem so quirky. You'd think they'd be easy to remember if we'd met them before. If we'd met them, huh? Must be just my imagination then. But I could swear I've seen them somewhere before. Yes, fuck! It's Ayumi! Ah! After crossing the wooden plank, it's another classroom. What a shocker. Sitting on the desk in the classroom are numerous cardboard boxes. What kind of traps await me in here, I wonder? Murashige, what are you doing? Kishinuma. What's wrong? You can't continue? Is it like a quiz show or something? 
No, it's not a mental challenge, but a physical one. Here, have a look. Mershika grabbed the closed box to him and tilted it toward Yoshiki to show off its contents. Inside was a frilly, floofy, kinda sexy maid outfit. The hell is that? Are those cat ears on a maid outfit? Mershika, are you into this kind of thing? <laughs> of course not, that's the problem. I don't understand, what's the problem? You open the box and there's an outfit inside. And if I don't wear that outfit, then you can't continue onward, huh? According to Sachiko's instructions, yeah. That's right, go on now, Kishirama. You pick one too, so you can move on to the next room. Considering who's responsible for filling these boxes, I don't expect any of the others will have anything better in them. That seems a safe assumption. So we really have to wear whatever we find in these boxes before we can move on. He tried the door earlier, it wouldn't budge an inch. Figures. Yes, really do have to just go along with whatever role Sacho comes up with. I really do want to save Shirozaki, but if I wind up pulling out an embarrassing maid outfit too, things are gonna get pretty real. Oshiki opened the lid on the nearest box and peered inside. Well, what have you seen? What do you see? Oh, come on! He produced from the box a pure white wedding dress. Like hell I'm wearing this! <laughs> I thought perhaps these boxes were prepared with the idea that maybe one of the girls would open them. But it seems more likely we're just being picked on. Is this really the time for you to be coolly analyzing the situation? Kishinoma, which do you think is the better choice? A maid outfit or a wedding dress? <laughs> Personally, I feel the wedding dress is slightly less objectionable. You think? I was sort of thinking that the wedding dress seemed more embarrassing. In that case, perhaps we should exchange outfits with one another. Certainly neither is ideal, but we could at least wear our preferred choices. Exchange outfits, huh? Kinda want to save first. Yeah. Wow, two hours already. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, how do I go back? Alright. Let's go with wear the selected outfit. Nah, I'm betting there's a clause in the fine print somewhere that says no exchanges are allowed. That is technically correct. The rules do state that we must each wear the outfit we selected. So I guess I gotta wear the wedding dress whether I like it or not. And I the maid outfit with the cat ears. We truly have to do this, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we should give up. And get it over with. At least in your case, you can always make like you're wearing a costume for a play or something. A play. That would make this a slightly easier pill to swallow, I suppose. Though if Maya saw me in such an outfit, I fear I might have to take my own life in embarrassment. Oh, believe me, I completely understand. <laughs> if Shidozaki saw me in this wedding dress, man. But they're watching you, though. Uh, aren't everybody in the auditorium watching them? Go through with this? Morning everyone, field reporter Taguchi at your service. I've just arrived at the dress up challenge room. I'm not sure how many girls remain in the race at this point, but I'll say right now, my heartbeat is going tweet tweet just thinking about it. Get it? It rhymes heartbeat tweet tweet, heartbeat tweet. Yeah, I mean, it's not a good rhyme, but still. <laughs> so how do you even put this on? Seems impossible to do one by oneself. Oh my, it seems there's already someone in here. Judging by the voices, I'd estimate they're boys. Yes, unfortunately, we have a pair of boys. Specifically, Yoshige Kishinoma and Secretary Morishige, it looks like. Let's keep quiet and see where this goes. Meanwhile, the television and the auditorium continue to broadcast events as they unfold. And see, wouldn't they see what's happening? Shig, why are you wearing a maid outfit? What's happening? <laughs> I'm sorry to ask you, Shinoma, but would you zip me up? Can't very well say no. I mean, I could tell you to do it yourself, but I can't do it myself either. Thank you. Once mine is zipped, you have my word I'll assist you in zipping yours as well. <laughs> Your word seems a little over the top. Why are the two of them getting changed together? And is Kishinoma wearing a wedding dress? <laughs> you think you could be seen at the television stepping on the hem of his dress and falling over. Yeah. Be careful, Kishinuma. Sorry, I've never worn anything with a hem before. Well, that's certainly true. I'd be more worried if you were used to wearing clothes like this. <laughs> what? Why are they embracing each other? <laughs> Yo, is my uh, a jo what was it? a Jose? Jose? 
a fan of boys love i forgot what the term is called something letter j that start with didn't something like this happen once before except it was kind of like the opposite the opposite so i was saved from falling over by you pretty sure yeah yeah that actually that was what's going on since when we're shake and he's shooting us so close <laughs> oh this is gonna give my you some strange ideas now Actually, now that I think about it, I have seen the two of them huddle together and head home. Could it be that I'm currently seeing something I'm not supposed to see like I did back then? If I'm not supposed to see this shake, then I won't watch. I'm not looking, shake, I swear. She couldn't quite make up her mind, however, if this was something she wasn't supposed to see or simply something she was afraid to look at. <laughs> Either way, my close her eyes to the proceedings. Oh, you're gonna miss the best part. I guess I really have to put on these cat ears too, don't I? Afraid so. <laughs> What's a human's reaction? What is your reaction? Cat ears? Oh shit, honestly, what are you doing? <laughs> I feel like the type of person who will wear these unironically is a person to be feared. But nonetheless, uh, how's this? Something wrong, Warshige? Come on, milady, it's time to change. Allow me to assist you. What the hell are you saying? Now, now, that language will never do. <laughs> How many times must I tell you it is imperative for a lady to mind her language at all times? I cannot seem to drill this into your head enough. What the hell is wrong with you? Sheik, please tell me some kind of act uh, is starting to really bother me. There is nothing wrong with me, milady. It is you who are in the wrong. Come on, man. Enough with the milady crap. It's like wearing a maid outfit has turned you into an actual maid or something. Don't you maid me and stop talking nonsense. Have you turned back then? Milady, why do you say such cruel things to me? Oh, could it be I've said something to offend you? Is it, I, I think Morshi gets trying to cope. <laughs> cope with the embarrassment. <laughs> trying to get in the act. Now you've gone all weird again. Well, whatever. You didn't offend me. You just creeped me out a little. Then I must insist you punish me at once. What the f- What? She, what on earth are you saying? If I have upset you in any way, then I must insist you punish me to your heart's content. I beg of you. Yeah, beg all you want. This is pretty fucked up, man. No kidding. What do you think you're doing? You, what have you been saying all this time? I'm so confused. Oh, what a kindly mistress you are to show such concern for one such as I. Morishige. Pay me no heed. Punish me, milady. Punish me however you please. I could take it. Please, milady. I beg of you. Punish me. No, this is definitely not a no. Give me a break already, man. Don't say such nonsense, just have at me. Look, I... Please, I'm on my hands and knees if you won't punish me, lady. How fear I go mental. Is there a reason you're facing away from me? You're such a tease, it's not fair. What the fuck is this shit? Simply imagining the punishment you might inflict upon me, lady, makes my body numb with delight and sets my heart ablaze. You're scaring me, man. You're really starting to scare me. Like, this is totally some s and shit, isn't it? Yuzuma, you must decide what you're going to do with me. Look, seriously, I'm not into this, okay? You just won't shut up about me punishing you, and it's really starting to mess with my head. My ass. Please spank my ass. <laughs> Are you saying if I spank you, you'll be satisfied? Actually, this is starting to sound familiar. It's like what happened to Shirazaki a few times when she got all weird on me. Oh, yeah, it's because she got the darkening thingy, but does the darkening make you want to get... Your ass spanked as well? I don't get it. Mercy, are you possessed? I think I am. My actions these last few minutes have been much very against my will. I should hope so. Now come, spank me, spank me hard, come! Hey, do you seriously want me to spank you? Don't be stupid, Kishinoa! But you know, there is a chance that if I hit you hard enough, the spirit will be satisfied and leave your body. Hurry up and spank my ass! What happened to you, Shig? You're not the same Shig I know! The strange behavior is obviously tied to that maid outfit, Murashi. <laughs> I think you're right. So if you tear that thing apart, you'll probably go back to normal. You mustn't attack my clothes, milady, but my ass! Hurry, hurry up, spank me with all your might! I'm beginning to think it's not punishment you're after. You just want me to hit you. <laughs> Who the hell would want to spank them? Go ahead with the plan to tear off this outfit. I fully support that idea. Alright, you got it. Oh, things might get a little rough, so you better not get mad at me later, do you hear? 
Oh boy. <laughs> I can't bear to get my eyes closed after all. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit, I almost I almost died there. Wait. Oh shit, we missed Oh shit, dude. I think we missed a, a wrong end. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm sorry, fellas. I'm so sorry. Let's, uh... Let's... Fuck. I'm sorry, dudes. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Yeah. Uh, the costume challenge... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. According to bad entry, the costume challenge do not switch. So we were... This oh, wait. So that means we are correct. So this is correct, okay? Maya popped her eyes open, unable to stand, not knowing what was going on. And onto those eyes befell quite an image. <laughs> it was Yoshiki in a wedding dress, clawing at the breasts of Marishiki in a made outfit with cat ears. Shig, no! Come on, scream. Jesus Christ, you put more effort into this uh, performance than you did into two previous games. <laughs> Things were pretty touch and go there for a while. I owe you one, Kishinuma. Oh, believe me, I was suffering just as much as you were. I am grateful from the bottom of my heart that you finally came to your senses. Man, if anyone else had seen me like that, I don't think I'd ever be able to recover. Oh, Kishinuma, spank my ass. <laughs> Shinuma. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell anyone, I promise. As long as we have an understanding on that. Suddenly, a sound rang out through the room. It was like someone nearby had slipped and knocked something over. Morishige and Yoshige both immediately spun around to face the direction of the sound. Who's there? Oh, it's Taguchi. Don't tell me I'm hearing things now. No, I heard it as well. In that case, come on out, I know you're there. You can't hide from me. Sorry, sorry, I have no intention of upsetting you. Just calm down. Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? I am field reporter to Gucci. Field reporter? And what exactly was a field reporter doing lurking in the shadows? What do you mean? What was I doing? My job, a live broadcast. A live broadcast? <laughs> so are you saying all the things we did in here a minute ago were being seen by other people? Yeah, that's the longest short of it. Bear in mind, I'm not doing this because I want to. Not everybody could defy Sajiko like you guys, after all. I don't want to hear your excuses. I know, I'm so sorry. Just tell me, where were you broadcasting to? Not somewhere where Mayu could see me, I hope. Mayu? I don't know if anyone named Mayu was watching or not. I just know Sajiko had me set up a TV in the auditorium for this. So everyone in the auditorium saw all of that? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> The sound of a microphone activated resonated through the loudspeaker in the room. It was from the auditorium. Shig. <laughs> Wait, is that Mayu? Mayu, is that you? Were you watching me all this time? Watching us? I tried not to look, but I could still hear every word. <laughs> Morishige grabbed his head in both hands and fell to his knees in abject agony. And he wailed as if heaven and earth alike were crumbling all around him. <laughs> oh, what a tragedy. <laughs> he finally fucking snapped. Don't look at me, don't look at me, Mayu. <laughs> hey, that's a good peril, because in the first game, uh, when Mayu was dead, because she got splattered on the wall, she's like, don't look at me, Shig, don't look at me. And now, in this hysteric birthday bash, is like, don't look at me, don't look. It's like, this is good parallel. It's like poetry. It rhymes. You know, that's the kind of writing I like. It means something. It, it goes back to reference the thing again. Like, hey, hey, that's a, that's, it's like a mirror version. I, See, this has potential, whoever wrote this. 
<laughs> you're a funny guy, but also you you do get the parallels and stuff. Hey, calm down, Marshige. So you ever see nothing you can do about it now? No big deal. Shinuma, just who are you to tell me what can can't bother me? You couldn't even begin to understand what I'm going through right now. Yeah, but it's too late to change what happened now. How about we take a souvenir photo to remember it by or something, so we, we can laugh at it later. What? What are you doing with my phone? Looking for camera mode, of course. Ah, here it is. <laughs> Yoshiki ignored Marishiga's objections and innocently snapped a photo. You bastard! <laughs> No need to blow a gasket, sheesh. Wait, you're you're really mad, aren't you? You have touched something of mine that must never be touched. Your penis? I was just trying to lighten the mood a little. If it bothers you that much, I'll delete it. Let's see now. Uh-oh. He, he's you almost gonna see the photos of the corpses, I think. As you see, trying to figure out how to access the photos on unfamiliar phone, Morishige violently snatched it out of his hands altogether. Ow! No need to force it out of my hands, man. It's your phone. If you wanted it back, all you had to do was ask. Did you see? Did you see? Did you see it? Well, I mean, I was here with you, so of course. That's not what I mean, you stupid idiot. The pictures, did you see my pictures? Yeah, I guess I did. Well, this is a fine... How'd you do? The woods. Yeah, the woods are calling to me. What? With blank eyes, Morishige slowly stumbled out of the room, pale and out of sorts. He seemed possessed, but not as before. Morishige, the hell do you think you're going? He okay? Just saw your friend leaving the room. Not that I'm really in a position to comment about that, but being essentially the cause of all this... That is his name. What happened? What was Shiki ran after his friend, but to his surprise and slight injury, collided with an invisible wall and was knocked back? The hell? There's an invisible wall in the door frame. Is there? I'm not feeling anything there. Probably because you're not part of this race. Oh. Or perhaps because you haven't quite finished changing it, and you're not allowed to leave the room until you do. That's right. Participate in the race must fully change in order to progress onward. It's the rule. Then how come Morishiki was able to get out of there? I believe that was made very clear. Okay then, old man, help me change, will ya? I really need to get moving before Morshiga does something stupid. But how come Morshiga was able to go past through that? That's weird. Sure. Old man, he says. That hurts, you know, I'm not that old. Hurry it up already, you old geezer. Uh, sorry. Wait for me, Morshiga. Okay. The woods, the woods are calling to me. What? So he just went outside, died casually, and Sachiko's not stopping him? Okay. After being seen by all my friends like that, and having the contents of my phone revealed to Kishinuma, there's nothing left for me. Shig, bro, I never knew you were into that. Morishige, honestly. Not only does Morishige wear women's clothes, he's also a total pervert. Lol. No, that wasn't me. I was possessed by his spirit. You have to believe me. Okay. Honestly, he creeps me out. Right? I mean, we've got, all got fetishes, but that was some serious S&M. Sorry, but please don't show your face around here anymore. Lol. Come on, I'm telling you, that wasn't me. Why would I really be into that kind of thing? You know it's not true. Morishiki, you shouldn't blame others for your own shortcomings. I'm not blaming others. I actually was possessed by a spirit. Come on, Mayu. You saw it all unfold. Tell them. You saw it all unfold, didn't you? You were watching? Mayu, weren't you? You saw Mayu. You saw. You said you saw. So, uh, what now? That's right, you saw it all. So why am I even bothering to try keeping up appearances? I'm... I'm such a fool. I don't even know what I'm doing, so I might as well just come right out and say it. 
I participated in the escape room game so I could save Mayu, but during the course of it, Mayu saw me soliciting spankings while dressed as a maid. It's all so ludicrous, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's like a comedy of errors, a true masterpiece of the absurd. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> Yoshiki, where are you? Answer me, please! Unfortunately, Yoshiki's voice seemed to just get swallowed up by the thick forest, where it faded into the darkness with no response. Man, Shige, answer me, goddammit! How the hell far could he have gone? Or is this forest basically just designed for people to get lost in it? I'm sorry for failing with your phone, so please come out and let's talk, Mershige. Uh, how far did he go? That picture, it makes no sense for you to be so shocked by a photo of yourself in a maid outfit. Every single person in the auditorium has been forced to do things against their will by Sachiko. We all understand, believe me. Shiki, Yoshi, can you hear me? A speaker somewhere nearby echoed forth with Satoshi's voice. How the hell? You're in the forest. How the hell? Satoshi. Good, you can hear me. Did you get any clear idea where Moshiki ran off to on your end? Now we're not getting any photos showing where you went. But more importantly, Yoshiki, I need you to listen to me carefully, okay? More importantly, aren't you worried about Morishiki too? Of course I am, but things on our end are even more dire right now. Dire how exactly? Uh oh. What's happening to Ayumi? Wait, that heavy breathing, is that? Yeah. What happened to Shidazaki? She started hyperventilating so badly she passed out. We haven't been able to rouse her either. Why the hell would that happen now? It's a damn Sachiko, she's trying to divvy us up and kill us one by one, isn't she? No, Yoshiki, that's not it. It's the wedding dress you're wearing, Yoshiki. Apparently, it's an heirloom that's been handed down in her family for generations. What? Shidazaki is really looking forward to wearing it one day. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. So are you saying it's my fault she collapsed? <laughs> She does actually hey, she does actually. Satoshi, the classroom's not breathing. What do we do? Big brother, Zayumi, Zayumi gonna die? No, fuck this fucking game. She does actually, hey, she does actually say something, please. Oh god, no, all I wanted to do was save her. All I wanted was to save Shidazaki. Why did it have to come to this? Aw, oh, dear, poor little Ayumi's dead now, and it's all Kishinuma's fault. <laughs> you expect me to be sad while he's wearing that? You fucking kidding me. <laughs> this can't be happening. Well, it did happen, so there you go. Brides have a tough <laughs> asshole. Alright. So, yeah. I don't. I, I didn't read whatever that is. Press any button. Uh, continue. Load game. Hurry it up. There you go. Yeah. Resuming mission. Exchange with Morishige. Yeah, okay. That would make me feel marginally better. But uh, unfortunately, I have to save it here too. Boop, 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 boop. Well. That was something. <laughs> oh, come on. Ayumi always gets the shit end of the stick. Why? <laughs> what is your problem, game, with Ayumi? This sucks.